Hi, my name is Ryan Lee and welcome to the Sprint Fitness DVD. This DVD is going to focus workouts on just using body weight and we're going to do high intensity work four minutes through and you'll see in a few minutes I'm going to take you through some of the progressions, how many workouts you should be doing a week, how long you should be working out for. But basically everything we're going to be doing in this DVD, you can be doing with just your body weight. You can do it anywhere, any place, anytime. You don't need any equipment. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about pull-ups in a few minutes as well, but most of this is going to be on the ground. Uh, you could use your bed as an angle, you could do all different kinds of things. We could do push-ups, squats, all different variations of them, but I think you're really going to enjoy this. And as always, these, these workouts are intense, so if you have any medical conditions or before you start any exercise program, you should always check with your medical professional or your physician. So I hope you enjoy this workout. Remember to check out SprintFitness.com to find out more and sign up for our free newsletter there. Now let's get right into the progressions and then we'll get into the workouts. Now on this DVD with body weight, we're going to be showing you a lot of exercises that have to do with pull-ups. Now I know some people are saying, well, I can't even do one pull-up, what do I do? Now I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to get around that, okay? First way is to go to your local sporting goods store. They all have these resistance bands, very cheap. You could buy a whole roll of them. Make sure it's pretty long, about seven or eight feet. Take, go to a pull-up bar, you can get a pull-up. Obviously, I'm out in the park. You can get a pull-up bar anywhere at a local sporting goods store and put it right up in your door. You're just gonna tie it around. Nice and tight. And now what this is gonna do, this will help you with your pull-up. So you can put it right around your knee and now this is gonna help give you resistance. If you couldn't do a pull-up before, now it helps push you up. So for those of you who couldn't do a pull-up, it helps. You can also stand on it. Again, just it gives you that little extra boost. In general, the lighter the color, the less resistance, so it's gonna be harder. This is probably the hardest, the thickest one you can get, so it's gonna give you more resistance, it's gonna make it easier, in other words. You can also get two, three, four, five of them, bunch them up together and use them for resistance. Now with the rope, you can get from any hardware store, what you can do is you can start to modify it. So now, if you have trouble doing a full pull-up, you can just come up here, wrap it around your hands, and from here, you can do what's called a modified pull-up. Makes it much easier until you work your way up. And now, you can change resistance, make it harder, make it easier, by going up and down. Now you can come all the way down, horizontal it's like a reverse push-up um, really good to do so if you can't do a pull-up don't worry you can go with the band method one two three four five bands whatever you need to give yourself a little extra boost or get a piece of rope to do the modified ones or if obviously if you could do just a traditional push-up that's even better but you will work up to it and now let's get started with these workouts now this part of the program is the sprint, hence the name Sprint Fitness. It comes from really high intensity running. Now obviously if you're not in a great shape right now, you can just do a slow jog or even a walk for recovery if you're really tired. And as I said before, you can add this in in any different exercise. So basically, I again use the same thing we use in the pull-ups. Simple, you can tie it around any doorknob, you can tie it around any pole, bed post, just tie it in a knot. And I like this because it gives a little bit of flexibility as opposed to a rope which is stationary. And what you do, wrap it around, and then you just want to maintain nice running form, okay? Just nice and easy. What I like to do is stay on the balls of my feet, okay? Keep the, keep the hands nice and loose. I like them a little angled. Lean forward a little bit, and then just run in the right place, get the knees up high, and you can go nice and fast too. Relax, look straight ahead, and that's a part of the sprint program. Now let's get with the workouts. Welcome to the Quattro Fitness Workout System. Now this was created for very busy people just like you and me. This is for people who work, maybe have kids, and just don't have hours to spend in the gym. The workout system is based on four minute rounds. Now that's where we got the word Quattro from, the Spanish word meaning four. Every workout you're going to do is gonna be exactly four minutes in length. And each four minute round is broken down into eight specific sets and every set is going to last for 30 seconds. So let me give you an example. If you were doing push-ups, you would do push-ups for 20 seconds, and then you'd rest for 10 seconds. You'd do another, re another set for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds, so on and so forth, until you have eight complete sets, which equals one four-minute round. Now, if you're a beginner, what you're going to do is start off with 10 seconds of exercise and 20 seconds of rest. And you're going to continue that for eight sets, 
as you get stronger and in better shape and better condition, you're going to do 15 seconds of exercise and 15 seconds of rest. Now, every exercise is time coded in the bottom right hand corner. So you'll see exactly how long you're exercising for. So if you are only doing 10 seconds of exercise, you will see that in the bottom corner and then you'll just rest until the next, the next set begins. So as you also getting stronger, you can add on more rounds until you get up to about three, four minute rounds. So your workout would be a total of 12 minutes. Now, if you find the exercises too hard, you can easily adapt them. So if it's a push up, you could do it on your knee. You can decrease the amount of weight you're using with the dumbbells, or you cannot use any weight at all. And if it's too easy, obviously you can add more weight. You could do things maybe on one leg or use one arm just to make it a little bit harder and more of a challenge. Now, I suggest you do this workout three days a week, doing an every other day type of cycle. So, for example, you can do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. These workouts are also designed that you can repeat them more than one day in a row, and we have 10 different workouts to choose from on this DVD. So you can try one workout one day and another workout the next and change it around and have fun with choosing different workouts for a challenge. You can do it up to five days a week, just make sure you're getting plenty of rest. I also suggest you do this workout in the morning before you eat and before you shower. You just get it done, it takes five to ten minutes, and then you're done for the rest of the day. We're also creating more DVDs that are going to give you more workout choices. Just make sure to go to quattrofitness.com, sign up for a free newsletter, and you'll stay, stay updated with all of the latest DVDs that we have out. So I wish you luck, and now let's get to the workouts. All right, we're ready. Now we're going to begin our warm-up. These are great to do just for a couple minutes right before you start your exercise. It's going to loosen you up. It's going to make you feel good. You don't have to run around for 20 minutes. And just follow along with me now. We're going to start at the top of the body, and we're going to work down to the lower body. So put your hands on your hips, and let's go head side to side. Nice and relaxed. Start increasing the speed. And now we're going to do head circles. Let's go all the way around. Some people say, oh, you shouldn't go all the way around there for your neck, but I don't believe that. <laughs> All right, now let's do some shoulder shrugs. Up and down, squeeze up, try to get your shoulders to your ears. Four, five, now we're gonna do shoulder circles all the way up to your ears and back. Let's go for five, two, four, five, then we're just gonna reverse it. Get all that tension out. This is where we get tight. We're on the computers a lot during the day. Five. Now we're going to start swinging to the side. We're going to have our hand hit our back and go the other way. Stay nice and loose at the hip. Four. Now we're going to do what's called the Egyptian. What you're going to do is put your front arm, palm up, back arm facing up, and we're going to twist and rotate at the shoulder. And we're going to go that side. Really get a nice corkscrew in the shoulder. Exhale. Now we're going to start working down to the body. We're going to start working the hips. This is important. This is where all your power comes from. A lot of people are very tight in the hips. And now let's reverse. And even if the guys are watching us right now and saying, oh, this doesn't look very masculine, it's okay to work the hips. Now we're gonna come down to the hip flex. We're gonna get down to the floor, face to the right, one leg back, nice and tall. You feel it stretching right here, and just lean back, and start to slightly go forward. Hold it for a couple seconds. Now let's rotate it and face this way. Get it a little deeper, you can lean forward and back. You feel pulling right in here. Let's go this side one more time. And this is all going to take the place of your static stretching. Now let's work the inside and we're going to go side to side. Come to the side. Two. Feel it right up in here. And now we're gonna do one more stretch, it's called the caterpillar. We're gonna get down on the floor. This is gonna work everything, the rest of your body. Hamstrings back. Start in the push-up position. Arch up into the cobra. And what you do is keep your hands still. Start to gradually walk your toes up. You feel the hamstrings right back in here. 
crawl your hands forward. Watch up. Down. And we are done. We're loose and we're ready to begin the workout. Let's go. Be a combination of different four different types of push-ups combined with a pull-up okay and we're gonna do them push-up push-up a pull-up a push-up a pull-up so forth and I'm gonna show you the four different types of push-ups so we're gonna start off with just a general push-up about shoulder width then we're gonna to go to the pull-ups remember you can do modified if you need to then we're gonna come down to what's called an angled push-up we're just gonna have our arms angle differently and rotate in between so we're gonna angle we're gonna rotate back and forth fourth set again we're gonna go to the pull-up fifth set we're gonna do what's called a dive bomber which is a pretty advanced push-up and I'll show you we're gonna swoop down and we're gonna swoop back up feet further apart come down and then reverse the motion just like that Again, pull up, and then the final push up is gonna be a power push up, it's called a plyo push up. Where you're gonna push yourself off the ground. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can push up and clap in between. So here's just a regular plyo. Push, push. You can try to get your entire body off the ground too. Or, and that's gonna be the complex we're gonna do. Now let's get to it.
This workout is going to be a combo doing a push up, straight to a pull up, straight to a hanging leg raise. So we're going to work push up upper body, pull up, great upper body two lat, and the leg raise is going to be more of an abdominal core exercise. So let me show you how it's going to look. You're going to position yourself right under the pull up bar. If it's, on, if it's in between your door, go in between your doorway or maybe a step or, step or two in front or, or behind it. We're going to go push up, explode up, pull up to a hanging leg raise and then drop that, drop down and we're going to re repeat that straight through. We're going to do that eight times now. Remember 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's go.
Okay, this workout is probably the most basic. It consists of two different exercises. It's a push-up and a squat. Probably two of the best you can do. Push-up for upper body, squat for your lower body. And push-up, obviously, you can go just shoulder width apart. But there's lots of ways you can vary a push-up. And I'm going to just show you a couple of different combinations of them that you can add in there to make them a little bit more challenging. You can angle it. So keep your hands, your arms angled. You could do what's called a plyometric push-up, where you're actually pushing your body up off the floor, your arms and your feet. You can now try one leg up and do a push-up. You could do one-handed push-ups. And as I'm getting tired, <laughs> I have a little trouble doing them. You got the one-hand push-ups, you could do what's called a dive bomber push-up as well. So there's lots of ways you can vary your push-ups. And a squat, same thing, just a basic squat. Come down, here's it from the side. And from an angle. Key is you want to really sit back. You don't want to lean forward. Keep it back, nice and loose. Let's get that, imagine, imagine there's a bench and you're just trying to sit back on it. And that's it, so this combo is just gonna alternate. Push up, 20 seconds, rest 10 seconds, squat 20 seconds, rest, so on and so forth for the full set of eight. So now let's go.
Here's a great workout that I've taken one of these exercises from my, one of my colleagues, Mike Mahler, and he created something called a body blaster. So we're gonna do what's called a body blaster, then we're gonna do a sprint, then we're gonna do a body blaster, and then we're gonna do a hill climber. So let me just show you how that looks in sequence. The body blaster, just an awesome exercise. You're gonna start down on the floor. What you're gonna do is you're gonna roll back, push yourself up over, forward to a push-up. Let me show you. You're gonna push back, Come up into a push-up. That is a body blaster. Incredible exercise. Then we're gonna do the sprint in place. Another body blaster. Then we're gonna do the hill climber, which looks like this. So this workout really doesn't give you a break. Going strength plus endurance and pure endurance. Gonna rotate it through, now let's get it going.
next workout is a nice combo. Lots of different exercises we've been doing. We're gonna start off with a push-up. We're gonna go to a sprint. Then we're gonna go to a squat, back to a sprint. We're gonna go to a pull-up, back to a sprint. And then we're gonna go to a dive bomber and finish up with an all-out sprint. So we're just gonna take the exercise we've been doing, push-up, or push-up, sprint, squat, sprint, pull-up, sprint, dive bomber, push-up, sprint. All those eight exercises, takes four minutes, remember 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Now let's get it going.
All right, this is called, it's a combination of a burpee and eight count bodybuilder. There's lots of different names for it, but I've added my own variation, my own twist to it. It's gonna, we're gonna do this one exercise, eight sets. It's gonna challenge you. It's a really tough one to do, but I think you're gonna like it. So let me show you how it looks, okay? We're gonna find the, uh, the space. You're gonna have some open space here. You're gonna come down. You're gonna throw your legs out. You're gonna do dive bomb or push up. Shoot your legs in, come up, and then we're gonna do like a jumping split squat. Jump, jump, and then we're gonna start it over again. Out, dive, split, split, repeat. Grueling, working everything in your body, but I know you're gonna like it, let's get to it.
All right, if you want to focus on your lower body, you're really going to like this workout. The entire focus is lower body. Four exercises. We're going to do the squat. We're going to do a straight ahead lunge, an angle lunge, and then a side lunge. The problem with most, most health clubs and people who work out in them is when they do lunges, they just do them straight ahead. So what we're going to do is different angles because if you play sports in, in life, you're walking in more than one direction. You're not just always going straight. So we're going to start off with the squats. Then we're going to go straight ahead lunge. What we do is alternate legs. Then we're going to go on like a 45 degree angle, angle, angle. And then what we're going to do is going to come right to the side. Side, side. And then we're going to remember, squat for 20 seconds, straight ahead lunge, angle lunge, side lunge, 10 second rest in between. Then we're going to repeat the whole process again. Great, great exercise for your lower body. Now let's get it started.
This workout is a great cardiovascular workout. It's called the one-handed squat thrust. I saw this from a guy named Scrapper at Train for Strength Exercises. He does really good stuff. So I'm gonna implement it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the one-handed squat thrust and we're gonna alternate that with a sprint. So again, you're gonna get your heart rate up high on this one. Let me show you how it looks. Like basic squat thrust, except we're using one hand. We're gonna alternate. We're gonna come down, shoot the legs out, up, down, other arm, up. Now, if you really have trouble holding yourself with the one arm, we're gonna, we could use two arms. So now let's get, so we're gonna do that for 20 seconds, rest 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go into the sprint for 20 seconds. So let's get started with this work.
This workout now is going to consist of two different exercises. First set, we're going to do what's called the walking bear crawl. We're going to add a little push up in there to make it more challenging, of course. And then we're going to walk back with a lunge. Now, if you don't have a lot of space, I'll show you how to implement it and change it. So let me show first with the bear crawl push up. Angle your hands. Push up. Push up. So you can see the angles. Now, if you don't have a lot of space, what you can do is go about two or three forward and then just reverse it. So you can go forward, forward, and then back. So once you make your way, this is best if you can do it in a long space. Once you make your way across, you're just going to do then a walking lunge back. So you're just going to walk, walk, walk. Now if you don't have a lot of space for the walking lunge, you could just do it in place. Okay? Bear crawl 20 seconds, 10 second rest, walking lunge 20, 20 second rest. Let's get it going.
This could be another great combo. This could be a dive bomber. So dive bomber push up to an abdominal crunch. Then we're gonna go to a squat and then to a crunch. So we're actually doing four full sets of crunches combined with the push ups and the squats. So let's get this started. It's gonna work every body part, a little bit more focus on the core. Here we go.